fam. What's up? Hey guys, it's our very first fun Friday. First fun Friday. Say that 20 times really fast. Fun Friday, fun Friday, fun, 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 yeah, fun. To, yeah. Okay, so we like to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> With weird things like that. Yeah, but the thing is, is like we talked about before, it can be a challenge in families just to take that time to really enjoy each other or to get creative. Sometimes I think we fall into some the same routines. Yeah, it's like if you're going to do a date night, it's like you go out to eat and then you go to the movies. Or you watch Netflix and binge uh, show. Yeah, not even Netflix and chill. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> for those that are just listening, I winked. Um, but Netflix and like Netflix and Netflix and Netflix and then one one body falls asleep. Yeah, and then it's like, dang, okay, I'll watch a few more shows <laughs> and then uh, they'll be lost. <laughs> Hopefully we're not the only ones that date night is sometimes Netflix and chill that turns into Netflix and sleep. Yeah, but in a blended family, any family really, right? We gotta be intentional on taking that time to have fun and maybe do something different. I notice I, I am the type my personality to where I can be very homebodied at times. I do love going out. I, I that is fun, but I can be a recluse very quick. And you you recharge by staying home. Yeah. After a week of work and stuff, where I like get refueled by going out and being around people. Yes, yeah, your the social drives you, yeah. and more of the quietness drives me. And so it, I know for me and my personality type, maybe just being a dude, that <laughs> uh, I don't like going outside of my box a lot. You know, I can like have my little fun box. But does anybody have a fun box? Maybe we should, a fun box. We don't, I don't need know. to. So, <laughs> see that, you think it's fun to make a fun box. I think it's fun to go out and do fun things. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, if you're a guy, I, know, I think a lot of us guys, and, and maybe not speaking for everyone, but we got like a few things that's our go-to and we like doing, that's it. You know, and uh, it, it's a lot harder, I know for me especially, to do something outside of what we normally do. And the truth is, whenever I find myself doing those things, I find myself enjoying them. So, you do know, you like I, it. I, I do, I do, I, I, I love the newness. I like just the excitement of something just different. So, so yeah, I, and I wouldn't have thought that. Yeah, usually like if I tell him one of my crazy ideas, he has more of a like, <laughs> okay, fine. But I can tell he does not want to do it. But usually like about <laughs> once you get into the, once you push yourself out there, yeah, and you have like a little turn, I do. Yeah. A little smile. And well, I'm more fun. I'm more introverted by personality. She's more extroverted. If, if you have not grasped that, and so she does. She loves. Uh, I know you love coming up with just all kinds of creative things. Like like you just love coming up with the ideas and going yeah. and doing things that are different. And I I'm like a one upper. Like I like to. Not only come up with something really cool, but then next time come up with something even cooler. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know, that's one thing I commend you on is with our kids kind of growing up as, you know, we were a blended family with starting out with young kids and you were very intentional about just doing different things like going and doing, I remember y'all would have your summer funds because you were a teacher and mm -hmm. you would uh, just kind of take the summer and be really intentional with the kids as far as just going off on adventures, you know, around the city and things yes. of that. Yeah. Those are still some of our favorite memories, yeah. being a tourist in your own town. Yeah, so uh, we love having fun. So that's, that's kind of what we want to do is bring that creativity on these fun Fridays. Being our first fun Friday is uh, just making sure that we're being intentional. And maybe you're like me to where you don't come up with the out-of-the-box thinking or new ideas. And maybe you can take some of these and uh, just run with it. And maybe you and... Uh, your yeah. spouse or you and your kids can just have some fun or maybe it stirs up something new for you that you're like oh you know what instead of us doing that we could do this right and so that that's what it's all about it's just about us coming together collectively and learning from each other and having fun yeah there's like a two part to it because you want to be willing well first like in order to reel in your partner or your children to do it or the whole family you want to get on somewhat of the same page, right? Of something that interests them. 
So it's like you, that's that little bait to get them out there is like something that they want to do. Cause then that's, that's going to make it a little easier when they're excited. But then also be willing to like step outside that comfort zone and be willing to do something that maybe might sound a little out of the box, but go ahead and try it anyways. Cause there's a lot of things that we've done that it, we might've thought like, Ooh, I don't know about this, but then we do it and we actually have fun yeah. in the process. Well, and I think even if the thing went wrong, we still laughed about it yeah. together and you know, we created those memories. And so that that's part of the, the being intentional and just creating those fun moments even when they may not seem fun or you're like, why in the world did we do this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like camping in Texas in August is like, why did we do yeah, that? Yeah, it sounded <laughs> so good when you're trying to do a vacation on a budget and you're like, yeah, let's go rent this place for $15. <laughs> and then you're like sweating and hot and mosquitoes. You can't and can't even sleep because it's so hot and you're oh. miserable. <laughs> yeah. But there were a lot of good things that came from it. So yeah, we'll talk about the alligator incident and all that later. We there are so many today. stories right now that are coming through my head <laughs> of just like all the things that I want to share that we want to share to give you ideas and like not just give you ideas, but like if it did go wrong, like how could we have done that better? What would have been a smarter move? Maybe something, a conversation we could have had beforehand yeah. to talk through all of that, which he is very good at. The planning part as far as like strategically thinking through things just thinking of that camping trip and like making a list and making sure you have food and stuff <laughs> you know the minor details <laughs> minor details so we do have so many things I, that's fun friday is going to be all about that us sharing uh very specific things for you mm. to do or like maybe a broad topic and you take that and like fit it for you and your family or for you and your spouse. But today we wanted to share with you something that kind of kick-started this year for us and to do things a little different, to get outside of our box for both of us. And that is... That is the, the Adventure Challenge. The Sorry. Adventure, <laughs> I thought you were going full force. The Adventure Challenge. Um, I just kept seeing this on Instagram. Um, you know how like you just, you look into something um, once on social media and then it just keeps showing you over and over the exact same thing. So I just kept seeing and all the dates that these people went on looked like so much fun. And so I thought, you know what, what the hey, I'm gonna order one of these and see if it's something that we can do together. And what's really cool about the book, first it comes in a really cute box. If you're <laughs> watching um, like on YouTube, you get this like really cute box in. But it comes with all of these date ideas inside the book, and it has them uh, categorized. How do you say that? Categorized. 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 Um, by like, if you need to be indoors, outdoors, how much it costs. Which reminds me, so we need to do a whole episode on our date night bucket because oh, that yeah. is something that we've created. That's like a freebie for you guys, so we can put that like in the show yeah, notes. we can put that in the link. Um, but like if you go to our website, Enjoying the Moment, that's something that, that's what we give away is like 90 different date ideas. Um, it's split up too that you can do with your spouse or it's a, uh, with your kids. So it kind of goes either way. So yeah, you can print it out. Way. A lot of them are the same, but some of them have a little bit different just because, you know, there's something you want to do with your spouse that you don't want to do with your kids. <laughs> so I don't know why all my conversations go that way. <laughs> But this book reminds me of like a fancier version of the, the day night bucket. Created, yeah, yeah, the 90 ideas that, <laughs> and that's completely free and gives you all of these different ideas. But this gives it just some spontaneousness to it. And it tells you like, if you need to get a babysitter, if you still have young kids, like how many hours you might be away from the house. And, and I love how it has, I don't know if y'all can see it, but it has like the, uh, the money and everything. If you're watching on YouTube, podcast, y'all just have to trust me. But it, it gives you like a range, like 10 to $30 on this one before 7 p.m., three to four hours. But it's, it's really cool because what it does is it categorizes that. You don't even know what it is. So it's a scratch off. Yes. So all of you who like scratch offs and like scratching the thing off. So it's like you go into it, if you're doing it as a couple, because we got the couple edition. And you go to it, 
and you're like, okay, well, we know we want to spend between this much, you know, and, and like this, that one was 10 bucks, right? So it's a $10 date. So that's pretty awesome. It even comes, not that you actually need it, but just for fun. You get like a little chip to scratch it off. And uh, on that, oh, I already put our picture on here. <laughs> so I don't want to take it off, but it comes with like lines to write down things about your date. Um, a little thing you peel off to put your picture, like if you take a picture while you're hey. out on your date, which our picture, I had Google photo printout. So it's huge. Um, you want to tell them a little about yeah, so this, this one, ba basically what we did was we got the book and we're like, okay, we, we got to try this. Let's do this. And so we're going to start vlogging it just to have some fun with it. So our intention is we're going to start doing a lot more of these and kind of creating the videos and having fun with it. That's just something that we, I think it's a date thing for us. You know, we want to yeah. do that and just have fun with that for us and ourselves. But uh, yeah, so we picked this one. It was like the $10 days because we're on a budget, y'all. And uh, so it's like, let's, let's do something cheap. So we scratched it off <laughs> and it was, it's like the most randomest thing. Okay. So it says you have to go buy a pinata. Whoa, so if so you don't know what a pinata is, most of you do. So I'm not going to explain the pinata. It's something you put candy in. in you put you candy in and everything, but you go buy a pinata. And so we went to like, we have a Hobby Lobby here. So we went to Hobby Lobby. And we looked at their pinatas, and they had like a plethora of pinatas. It's like, oh my goodness, okay. So we bought a, it was an avocado shape. There were so many choices, but I love an avocado. We love avocados, so that, that's just great. So we, we got this avocado, and what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take it to some public place, like a park. No, before that, you got, we went to the Dollar Tree, because I'll be loving some Dollar Tree. Oh yeah, Tree. and we got candy. We bought a crap load of our favorite candy like dollar candy and yes. loaded this up chocolate like, starburst we didn't we didn't go with the cheap well we did go with the dollar candy but we went with like the chocolate stuff yeah. you know i mean i'm a chocolate fanatic so if y'all get to know me i love me some chocolate but it was so we got all that we filled it up and you're supposed to take this to a public place Wrap like it around a tree. Or something. Not necessarily like public, public, but like. Yeah, I mean, it could even be like in your front yard. It could be in your backyard, you know. Mm -hmm. So we chose a park because we're crazy. And uh, you're supposed to put it around a tree. Now, the catch is, is normally a pinata. You take a stick and you go crazy or you give it to your kids and let your kids go crazy. And then you laugh at them. And it's really fun to watch your kids as you're, you know, bringing that pinata up and down. And then uh, kind of when <laughs> you're not going to get a kid, <laughs> you know, you got to do one of those. But, you know, this is just you and your couple. And so you take turns. Yeah, I said to put on thick winter gloves. Thick winter gloves. So you're not using a stick. You're using your hands. You are supposed to punch at the pinata with gloves. Yeah. Like not boxing gloves, but like winter gloves. So you do that. But the catch is you have to do a blindfold. So... Mm -hmm. What we did, it was, it was cold, so we grabbed some beanies, uh, or what do you call them, uh, depending on who's listening or, or whatnot, you can call them toboggans, you can call them oh, beanies, you can call them fancy. whatever, right? So winter same thing, cap. a winter cap. A winter cap, lads. I and so it. we got our winter cap on. And, and our we, winter gloves. And our winter gloves. And we went and we just had... We, we tied it around the tree and everything. Mm -hmm. Now, me and my personality, when I we scratched this off, I was not looking forward to it. I was like, you got to be kidding me. I, I don't want to do this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it sounds a little random to go buy a pinata and go. And, and I think yours, the reason you didn't want to do it, is you didn't want to go somewhere where people would watch us. Yeah. He doesn't like to look stupid in public. Like, I say the word stupid, but like for people to be looking at you and like judging you or, yeah. right? Yeah, no, you're right. Unless we're all participating. So, you know, I'd be more like, everybody, let's come do the pinata. <laughs> <laughs> that way we can all look goofy. So we did try to find like a private parkish area. And we did. We did very well. It yeah. was secluded. We definitely should have went earlier. It says to go before dark and we went at like... It was dark. <laughs> it was turning dark. <laughs> so by the time we're punching this pinata, it's getting dark. And like, I just remember, like, because you're, you're blindfolded and you're just punching <laughs> away at nothingness. And so he would have to like stop it and direct me. And we were pretty close to a tree. Like, I was kind of nervous to punch the tree. Uh, yeah, not really. Got hurt, though, right? Probably me. Uh, <laughs> She's like, oh, this is so hard. It's hard on my hands. I've never been in a fight. <laughs> So anything physical <laughs> like that, like I've never been punched and I've never punched anybody. So 
physically punching. I need to get more practice in and just like go, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Ready to box? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would take me out. But no, we had it was it it ended up being a lot of fun. We we had a blast doing it. We had a, it was uh kinda uh, I don't wanna for me it was it was kinda like the excitement of are we gonna get caught? I mean, <laughs> what is a police officer gonna come by and say you know you what can't put a thing out on a tree and hit it with your hand. <laughs> you <know>? so, <laughs> so it's kind of, <laughs> Of all the things that are illegal. I have to illegal. explain that to a cop. I know cops, seriously. We're like, we're like level-minded people. We're just here. Yeah, we're, just being we're following married. an adventure challenge. We're just, so. Arrest them, not us. <laughs> but we ended with it because it was just us and not a whole bunch of little kids at a birthday party. We ended up with all that candy. We got all the candy. And then we put it like in a container. Oh. And then we stored it up where he keeps his coffee where the kids don't know. Yeah, so we, we didn't, let, we didn't let the kids know. Our kids are older now, right? But uh, yeah, we, we hid it away from them because if they knew, it'd be gone. Like, I'm the type though, I'll like hide chocolate in my sock drawer. He it's, does. it's like, I don't want nobody to know. It will be April <laughs> and his Christmas chocolate is still in his sock drawer. Because I forget about it. Oh, and when I go to like every once in a while, because he actually does our laundry, um, but every once in a while, if I'm trying to be like kind and I do laundry and I go to put his socks up and I'm like, there's in here. <laughs> this is my payment. <laughs> my payment for doing your laundry. So he likes to hold on to things. I'm like, yeah. I need a piece in of sweets after every meal. So mm. I'm more likely to eat mine a lot quicker. Yeah. But it was a fun night. And the Adventure Challenge, it was just really fun. It's cool. So we scratched off another one that we need to do. And this one is uh, watch a movie outside. So uh, it's like getting a projector or maybe putting up a screen or, or something to that. I'm going to combine it, though, and put it where we're watching the movie from the pool outside. Yeah. So we're going to get on floats and stuff at the same time. Yeah. So we're going to get a little creative with that. So that's the cool thing about it is you get to take these and kind of make it fit you and your personality if you're doing the couple thing. Uh, it's something you're enjoying together and you're getting creative together and being intentional saying, you know, we want to date each other because we love each other and we want to, we want to have fun together and bring and keep that fire ignited, yeah. you know, instead of just letting the day to day exactly. grind take that away. And then if you're doing it with your kids, then you all get to kind of collaborate and, and look forward to it and kind of build up the suspense as you do it, you know, so you scratch it off, you put it on the calendar and say, okay, this is the day we're going to do it. That way it's there, you remember, and it will get done. If not, it becomes just a memory, and it's like, oh, yeah, we didn't do that. And you can take it as big or small. Like this one that we're fixing to do um, this weekend with the kids, with the projector. Like you don't have to own a projector and all that. Like you can just set up a little movie area outside with your computer. Take and your you're... laptop out there. Yeah, and, you're... and or something. you don't have to make it like a big thing. Just let it spark. Like don't let money be like oh well i can't do that because we don't have a projector like get creative i've seen where you can take your phone and put it inside a box and lay up underneath it and it looks like you're looking at a big screen i mean look on pinterest it, it's a real thing that's pretty cool yeah it's pretty cool so just let that spark your creativity or if you don't have creativity like because i know i have some friends that would be like that's not me i don't like to get creative tell me exactly what to do i just want you to give me all the ideas that's what Pinterest is for. You can just go type that in Pinterest and see how all of those creative people have done that before. And that's kind of what these fun Fridays are about. If that is kind of your personality, like, no, just give me the, what do I need to do? Then you can take these ideas and use them for yourself. So yeah. <laughs> use them in your family as well. So anyways, that is the adventure challenge. So if you are, if you're interested in the adventure challenge, I think how much does this, how much did this book cost? I think it was like, 25 or 30 but you get like 10 percent off or something when you use our affiliate or we, we became we uh we did become an affiliate with them because we loved it so much we loved yeah. the idea and it kind of fits the theme of what we're wanting to do with families is just kind of bring these creative ideas so if you want we will put the link in the show notes uh so if you want you can go use our affiliate link and, and that way you always can get 10 percent off because you're like well why would i want more than one well it's an amazing gift to buy somebody outside like a wedding gift um, oh, yeah, something like that to buy for somebody else but they also have family version of it and they have 
best friend version of it. And they even have a singles edition. So if you use our link, you always can get the 10% off. But then often I will share whatever their their thing off is right then. It might be like buy one, get one free or 15 or 20% off, whatever promo they're doing. So I like to share that with you guys as well. That way you can just maximize that. But yeah, even just getting it for yourself is incredible. But having that as a gift idea outside, like that is pretty cool. outside your norm. Yeah, so if that's your interest, we'll put the link down there if y'all wanna do that. Uh, if not, we're gonna be like, just kind of sharing some of the things that we do, you know, kind of out of this book. Uh, this won't be like every fun Friday, right? We're, we got so much that we so can share. Things. So, you know, this will just kind of be a part that, that we're gonna sprinkle into some of these fun Fridays. So mm -hmm. we'll, we'll kind of share some of those, maybe spark some ideas for you. But yeah, so as you're listening, maybe you were like, man, that's an awesome idea. So let me go get a pinata. Let me put some candy on it. Mm -hmm. And then let me get my spouse. You know, that's even something you could do with your family too. You know, you probably get your kids involved. Oh, how then, fun would that be? It not yeah. even be like a birthday party where they have to share all the candy and yeah, share this turns. could be for you and your family. 20 kids deep waiting for their turn to hit the pinata again. But it's just the... Maybe y'all go set it up in your backyard. I mean, pinata is five, ten dollars, right? And then you can go buy your candy and stuff like that. And then y'all just put on your thick gloves and blindfold each other and, and, and go, go out punching and, away. Yeah, go punching away. So, so yeah, that's that's really fun. Like I said, I was against it at first. So, guys, we got to get out of our comfort zone sometimes. I know, uh, it, but it's just man, when you do, you, you really have some fun and you enjoy. Uh, just spending that time with each other and then you laugh about it later. We yeah. still laugh about it today. Those are just, the memories. Just kind of going back. And the cool thing about this book is when you do the picture, now you get to take, you know, you get to put that picture there and then this becomes just a little memory thing that y'all can look back and, and look back through all the pictures and the crazy things that you have done. And, you know, just let that be a part of part of your family fun, building your family culture and, and things like that. So, yeah. man, good stuff. So, man, I, love it. man, so I got excited just talking about it. Yeah, again. <laughs> yeah it's really fun. So, so yeah, let that kind of spur, stir up some maybe some weekend talking that you're doing with your family or with your spouse and, yeah. and just say, hey, y'all go have some fun this weekend. Enjoy it. Do it. Do it. Just do it. So, all right, guys. Well, this is Enjoying Your Blended Family. So, we Until out. Until next time. Until next time. We'll see y'all later. Hey, thanks for joining us for another fun Friday here at Enjoying Your Blended Family. All the links we talked about today are in the show notes. And if you enjoyed listening, be sure to subscribe because it's free and it lets you know when we have another episode out for you to listen to. And if you don't mind helping us out so we can start reaching more people, leave us a rating and review. You never know when we'll give you a shout out. Until next time, have fun being intentional and remember to enjoy the moment.